Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So me and the doc are going to spend, pull a late night tonight and try to finish up the 300 because I really need it on the lot. Um, the gauges came in the other day and Dan started to get them wired in and he's working on that right now. And after going back and forth and back and forth on if the tank was fixable or not, if we finally, I just found one on eBay pretty reasonable there was several on ebay that were way overpriced but i found a few this one that was oh uh, about 104 dollars total so that's not too bad for a fuel tank I, I can work with that so but we're going to see if me and dan can't get this thing kind of finished up tonight at least get it as close as possible and get it on the lot um the other day we put a little daniel made a little fuel tank thing and we hung it in there and we had fuel running to it and she started and she fired and she run and I have footage of that and we will definitely show you that in this video so you can see her maiden voyage voyage out the door even though it was only about a foot and a half so but anyways guys let's get started on this thing and get this done because I'm hungry and I want to go home So how's that going, Dan? Is the wiring coming together? Yeah. How much more you got to go? Not much more. Not much, and then we got to figure out how to get that fuel tank on? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? Anything to help so we can speed this up? Like um, I said, I'm hungry. There's not much I can need help with okay. right now, so. All right, I'll step aside then. I'll let you do your thing. Dan, what did you get done here? Well, we got the dash back together. So we got we got a new switch for the starter for the starter. We got new. This is all wired in. There's a new uh, tack. Mm -hmm. There's a new uh, alternator charger gauge. Mm -hmm. a new temp gauge. New oil pressure gauge. Which we got new lines on it. We got a new line for the temp gauge, all wired in when we put the battery in, which we need to do here in a second. We'll turn the switch and see if the lights come on. And then we just gotta get the tank in, run a fuel line. Wish we could put a filter, because I don't know how clean that tank is, but I don't think we have a fuel line, or a, fuel, a filter anywhere in the shop. And give it a test drive, and 
I think at that point we we call her done, and right before I put her out in the lot tomorrow, I can zip the tin work on, mm -hmm. put her back together, and she'll be complete. And if anybody's looking for one of these, 2,500, good running tractor. So, but all right, well let's let's get the tank on. Why don't you grab the tank real quick, Dan? Um. What do you think? I think that was worth the hundred and some odd dollars we paid for it. Yeah, I think so. They said a little rust. And I don't, I mean, there's a little rust on the outside, but um, you want to check the inner? Look. Looks good. Looks good and clean? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it was worth the money after all. Alrighty. Do we need to do anything with these wires? Or are they okay? They are okay, I think. Okay. I got one hanging here. I don't know where that came from. Is it important? <laughs> And that's it. That's all four sides. guys to uh, get get some fresh air why the dock is messing with the uh, sediment bulb on that tractor I just this one of the things I love about living in Kansas is the weather today it's been sunny and nice and stuff but they said thunderstorms this evening and you can watch the dry line push across the sky and absolutely beautiful ground to sky to ground or ground to sky lightning and stuff. It's not going to be a really bad storm, but we definitely got rain coming. Um, 
kind of neat. I kind of, I love that stuff. So guys, this is day two of filming on the 300. Uh, the other day when me and Dan were working on it, I realized I didn't have sediment bulbs or, or sediment bulb. I didn't have a uh, fuel line. I didn't have fittings for the fuel lines. And so we had to go back. I had to go get some and uh, it was late. And plus this weather got bad, a uh, storm rolled in and it, I didn't think it was gonna be a bad storm, but it ended up being a pretty good sized storm. We lost some big evergreen trees and stuff blew over and other things so but also on the community part of the page i posted this john deere 3020 that i bought and i asked you guys to guess what i paid for it and timothy and mauricio are the closest i gave 850 for this mauricio said 870 he was 20 bucks off give or take and uh timothy you said 800 so you guys were the closest to um we gave 800 bucks for it i bought it from a gentleman down in kingman it runs he, uh, the three point works on and off and it is a propane tractor that i believe was converted over to propane and if that's the case we're going to convert it back to gas like it originally was uh, the dock's going to fix the three point and i got junior mint rebuilding the starter because trying to start it the other day i got a little carried away and i burned it up it happens but uh so this is going to go on the lot this is going to be a big project those are going to get done then i'm going to send it to a buddy of mine down at mount hope kansas he's going to clean this thing up and paint it i bought a loader a while back for 25 bucks that'll fit on this tractor that's in pretty really really good shape i'm going to paint that loader to match the tractor we're going to put that all together and this thing after an 800 dollar purchase and probably about putting about uh hopefully no more than two or three grand in it after that will be an $8,500 tractor on my lot and in, in this area I don't know about your guys' areas but in this area this tractor will sell pretty quick that way especially come this winter when all the horse people are looking for something to move hay so but anyways guys so let's move back in the shop and let me show you what me and Dan's got done we're getting this close on that 300 she's almost done come on So we got the sediment bulb on, we have the fuel line ran, the dash has been rewired, um, new gauges, Daniel just finished, Doc just finished tightening up the exhaust. What else have we done? I can't even remember everything we've done so far. So we are ready to put fuel. <laughs> Come here, Kaylee. Me? Yep. Come here. I burped. I burped. I burped. So got me a helper here now. Um, so we're ready to put fuel in here and starter. You want to hear the tractor go? Yeah. You want to hear the tractor go? Okay. So Dan's going to put fuel in here and we're going to starter. And we should be done, guys. So let's see what happens. Come on. Let's get out of the way. That is the seat. Me? Seat for now. Seat for now. Me. Hold on. Not right now, sweetheart. Yes. 
We gotta wait for him to get it going. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Well, see what happens. Do I need to choke it? I think so. I wouldn't know what. As much as she's spilling out here. Just float sticking. Choke it. I'm sorry, Ron
Well, that pretty much does it. We got a little bit of tinkering yet to do. There's some things that the dock's got to finish up, but it runs. We got to figure out why it's smoking. I don't know if the carb's set too high, it's burning too rich, or what the deal is, but that pretty much wraps up the 300. It came in as a non running tractor, and she's now running. So, a um, little more elbow grease, but she'll be on the lot shortly. Thank you guys for coming in and watching another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please remember to subscribe. If you're curious of what we got on the lot, go to omegasales.com, or correction, go to Omega Ag Sales on Facebook, and you can check out what we got on the lot and stuff. And thank you guys once again for coming in. I'm going to go help Dan get the 300 back in, and we'll get the details light out. Thanks, guys.